Okay, so one of the things that I've been very fortunate to discover, they're called Clecos. This is a Cleco. The way it works is you take a Cleco, pair of Cleco pliers, and you insert the Cleco in, and you squeeze, and you see it gets skinny, you pull back and it expands. These are unbelievably useful in holding up things that you want to rivet. So for instance, this right here, this 40, this runs the length of the bus, it's 40 feet long. And I was able to hold it in place and with one Cleco on each end, hold the whole thing up. Which then allowed me to put in more Clecos and then eventually come in uh, with the rivet gun and apply the rivets. Absolutely invaluable for any of the sheet metal holding in place that you might need. Uh, 25 bucks on Amazon for like 30 of them and they've been immensely helpful. So one more thing that I was able to get done over the past week is I've been able to take out all of the flashing lights and I've replaced them with pieces of uh, plexiglass. Uh, basically what my intent is to take uh, floodlights and put them on the other side so that way um, if I'm in a national park or, or out in the middle of nowhere and maybe I want to have a bonfire in front of the bus or on the side of the bus, whatever, I'll at least have the ability to light the front of the bus. Kind of make the area in front and in back useful. I did the same thing on the back. Okay, so welcome to the roof where I have my roof rack uh, just about ready to be screwed in. Um, it's the back half, which will be the, the wooden patio for the most part. We're doing it in two pieces so that my welder can, um, can make the first piece fit in the back of his trailer, and the second piece will fit in the back of his trailer. And that will come right to the transition area, which is right here. I don't want to put anything on there. It's sound and structural, but I don't want to put any weight on it. So that's going to have just a scoop my plan at least. I'll have a scoop here um, for aerodynamics. So the way I designed the roof rack is that it's an uh, inch and a half steel. Inch and a half steel. I've got bolts. I need to put a washer on this one. I'll talk everything before I screw it down. I just wanted to get it in for now. Um, but I want, want the next section to be able to insert right here and then um, the way I did this is I gave it exactly four inches of height so that basically um, I would have an air insulation layer underneath. Um, the whole reason why I'm doing this now, which is typically later in the bus type of build, is that in Del Rio, Texas in the desert, uh, it's going to be super, super hot and I don't want, well I can at least minimize um, some of the sun's beating down on me and then turning the bus into an oven because it is just a metal box in the sun. While we're on roof stuff, this is an emergency exit. And here's my cover for it to prevent rain from getting into my beautiful wood floor down below. Um, what I'm planning on doing is taking the exact dimensions of this hole and adding them here. So here's the, here's the rivet which means that there's a, a support bar underneath. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four cutouts. And what I'm going to do is cover up the holes with Lexan. Lexan is stronger than acrylic and in my opinion has better UV resistance. So the plan is to make those sunlights. Now how's that going to work with the wooden patio? The plan for the wood patio is to have the center sections completely removable. If I make them completely removable, then if it's way too hot, I can actually keep the sun out and I can put the sections back in um, for transport uh, or to keep the sun out. Otherwise, I've got a skylight going the entire length of the bedroom, which in my opinion is super cool. As for the mustache, it's an Air Force tradition, mustache march to grow one out. I started a little bit early because I'll have to be shaving it not too long for another reason. As my nail gun did in fact break, I don't have a lot of time lapse for you this week. 
but I do have some shots from my other project, which I will get to probably in another video. Hello and welcome to Derelict Bus Conversion video number six. Today coming to you from the inside of the bus, where I have just placed, I haven't nailed it in yet, my hardwood floor, my reclaimed gym floor. Uh, my nail gun, my nail gun broke. So in the meantime, I'm placing, cutting, and measuring all the wood so that I end up with the right dimensions. I'm, I guess, grateful to say that it did not make much of a dent on my wood bank, so I'll have plenty for the front, and I imagine I'll have plenty left over as well. Thanks for checking out the bus video. Like and subscribe, and feel free to comment below. Thanks, bye.